Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Op channel. Today in the UiPath certification practice series, we are going to answer one more question. Before that, I hope you have started following the UiPath certification playlist where we are uploading daily contents into this playlist and you can take benefit. So let's get started with the question and try to understand. In order to add a row to a data table, named dt reports so the data table name is dt reports a developer use the add data row activity however uipath studio throws the exception add data row object reference not set to an instance of an object okay very simple so there is a data table called dt reports and the developer wants to add few rows into the data table using the add data row activity so this is the activity okay using the add data row activity he is trying to add few rows and while doing that he has got an error or while running that there is an exception add data row object reference not set to an instance of an object okay so how to get this error everything i am going to show you in demo and what should be the right answer you know with the logical understanding i will let you know during the runtime because the data table was not initialized so what is the reason because the data table was not initialized so that means to correct the error what should the developer add to one assign activity before the add data row activity so before the add data row activity in the assign activity what expression you should add are you going to add new system dot data dot data row are you going to add new system dot data dot data table or look at this it is written in the other way assign activity new system dot data table can you do this in the other way then dt reports is equal to new list of data row so what is the correct answer this is pretty simple answer but let's understand okay so first of all what i am doing let's use a add data row activity let's drag and drop this all right and let's create a variable in the data table section and give it a name as dt reports okay this is the variable i have created if you go to the variable panel you can see the data type is data table very simple now to um, to uh, add some value let's use this array row you can use any of this array row and also data row okay let's use the array row now how do you write an array the same way you need to write it so i am opening this and uh, here array row and let's say i want to add a name to the data table let's say rakesh click on okay all right if you run this there will be an error called object reference not set to instance of an object because you have created a data table right but you have not declared you have not initialized it so data table is a object right and when it comes to an object you need to initialize that so what is the error here object reference not set to an instance of an object so what do you mean by an object so object means it will have its own properties and methods okay properties like data table dot row dot um, uh, count so the property for example i'll tell you what is a property and what is a method you should know let me use a assign activity okay let's say if i'm writing dt reports if you put a dot you will find two different things okay this you know this you can see case sensitive child uh, relation so these are nothing but the properties okay and look at this data set row so a data data table will have certain properties right it will have rows so if you highlight you can see read only property data table dot rows uh, site table name is a property property of a object right and also it has got methods like row count method or you can call it as a function so this is known as an object so any time uh, any any variable which has got two different property and functions if if it has got property and function then you will be naming it as an object so with this object uh, data table as an object 
you have to initialize when it comes to objects you need to initialize so how do you how do you do that first thing you will write the data table name simple and then in the value field you can write new system dot date so how do you know uh, how to initialize it if you data table okay this is what you need to write new system dot data dot data table and that is the right answer so that fixes the uh, problem now if you go to the variable panel and highlight your mouse pointer this is where also you get an indication it says system dot data dot data table clear so this is also an indication on how to write it so this is the correct answer but why the other answers are not correct let's see that for example if you go for new system dot data row so will it work it can't work because the variable type is data table and you are trying to initialize a data row with that expression if i replace with data dot data row what happens there is an error and if you read the error it clearly tells you is not accessible in this context because is a protected uh, uh, friend encounter processing expression new system dot data data row uh, protected friend so it cannot be done so there is an error right because very simple uh, knowledge is it is a data table variable and you are doing it for a data row that is for data row initializing a data row now let's go back um, what if i do it in an alternate way so we know the correct answer is new dot data dot new dot system sorry new space system dot data dot data table right so this is the correct answer what if we do it in the alternate way so let me cut this and go here in the to field if i type this one and here in the value field i am saying dt underscore reports is it going to work what is the problem here encountered processing expression right the provided expressions type must exactly match the t value of the basic reference so it does not accept this way so the assign has got two and value so in the two field you need to provide the variable and in the value field you are supposed to provide the value so the alternate option doesn't work so this is not the correct answer correct got it okay let me cut this go to the value field and this is supposed to be the correct answer right alternate way is not possible we got it now the next thing okay what is the next option they have given uh, dt uh, reports is equal to new list of data row even this is not correct because this is talking about list so is your variable is a list type no so even this won't work okay you can see there is an error so this also is is the not not the right answer so let's there are a couple of other things to learn so let me write it again new system dot data dot data table all right so this is done now if you simply run will it really work you are trying to add a column a row right which is going to add into the first column so but you have not defined any columns will it work no it won't work it will throw an error look at this what is the error input array is longer than the number of columns in the table so you have not at all defined the columns in the table and you are trying to add a value so a data table must have a row and column right only rows is it possible no it has to have at least one column right so we have to use another activity below this that is add data column okay add data column and let's say i am giving a column name and i will say user name what is the column user name and then a uh, data table name you can give dt underscore reports done so once this is done uh, column name let's see what is the error so so that is the uh, if you are using the top one there i need to use a data column variable so let's keep it simple we'll, we'll go with the column name option rather and here i will i'm going to simply say data um, user 
name that is the column name all right now if you do this and try to run this is going to work properly there won't be any kind of an error you can see it will be able to add the row now if you ask me how do you see those uh, values what is being added for that which activity are you going to use so no error right now let's say i want to see those values now what is the activity i can use output data table right this is the activity i can use let's drag and drop below this and i'm going to mention the uh, data table name which is dt reports and um, this can convert the data table into text format so i'm going to create a uh, variable here and i will say text or text data table whatever you want hit on enter and you can simply use a message box and see the output text right okay so this thing has been done everything is proper let's debug it and see so now the output the value that we are adding over here that will get added to the column username column okay So you can see under the username the name has appeared so likewise you can add as many columns that you need all right so what is the right answer so the right answer is dt reports equals to new system new space system dot data dot data table so this is your right answer so thank you guys for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting uh, learnings for you for the preparation of uipath certification thank you guys take care bye bye